Hi everyone, this is Anandal. This is the tutorial Tuesday for the month of July, and it's going to be focusing on these miniature pens. I will be uploading a total of two videos this month, so this is going to be the first video showcasing the first style of pens that I'll be making, and then on the third Tuesday of this month, there'll be a second video uploaded, which will show a second type of making sort of miniature doll pens. This month, for to start it off, I'm going to make this style, which is just a simple pen. It has a tie bar at the top, a little button at the end here, and then a pen nib at the other end. So I'll be making a pen similar to this. And this style here, it is made specifically for my quarter scale BJDs. And these here at the top is the size that I use when I make pens for my larger dolls, which are 65 centimeters and taller. The sizes of them here at the bottom, the one that we'll be making is approximately an inch and a half. Here at the top row for my larger dolls, they are about two inches in length. And you can see these are the doll hands that I bring with me so I can reference their scale. So when you look at your hand holding a pen, try to make it something with that type of size ratio. The materials that you use, you'll want to pay close attention to the thickness of those materials. Uh, I generally try to take the finger on the doll hand and try to find materials that match that thickness of that doll finger. And you can look at different actual real pens to get inspiration for what type of items you're going to be wanting to use. Since for this pen that we're making here, I have this tie bar. So this clip bar here on this real pen, I had to look for whatever I was going to use for that material. Um, I wanted to use pens that had the push button at the top. I generally have them mimicking this so that the button is pushed down and then the nib is exposed at this end. So besides the doll hands, I actually do like to have these with me at the side of my desk to take sort of inspiration and reference from. So breaking down the pieces of the pen to make the pieces of your little pens, we start off here at the top. For that, I'll be using these decorative nails. I liked that they had these gold ends at the top that looked like a nice pen button. I've got one here. And the first thing that I'll have to do is I will need to probably cut off this top piece. Um, I would actually prefer not to, because if you remember from my first tutorial with the magnifying glass, I like to have a pin run straight up and down in the handle, which is the same concept that I'll be using to make the pens. But for this specific nail, I can only use this top portion, because when I make the body of my pen here, I'll be using these green stone beads to make the body of my pen, but because of the diameter of that hole where usually you've got elastic or some sort of string or a thin wire running through it, this nail is way too thick. It won't actually run through the bead. So I can only use the top portion. I'm still going to be using a pin on the inside either way, which I've got one here. Regular flathead pin. This one is the correct um, the wire is the, the correct gauge in order to go through the pin. So this is what will be running through the body of the pen to keep everything together. And it also keeps everything sort of rigid. It helps a lot when it's drying to keep the pen the way you want it to be aligned. In both the magnifying glass and when I make pens, the pin that runs through it is really important once again. In between the two green stone beads. I've got this gold piece in the middle. And then finally, I've got the end piece. Here you've got on the real pen, this gold portion that holds the nib. 
So what I'm going to be using is I've got this clasp that screws apart and I'm going to be using half of it to create my piece that holds the pen nib. I'm going to remove this wire through it. So this is what's going to be at the end there. On the end of that gold piece, this is what it's going to hold. This is a jewelry rivet. I do prefer to cut it and try to shape it to a pointed end to make it resemble closer to a pen nib. And that will be attached to this. Optional is the clip bar here at the side. So there are pens without clip bars, but I do like the way a clip bar does look on the side. It makes it look more convincing. Here I've got a hand of a clock, uh, of a very small clock, and this is what I'll use at the side. I'm going to bend it at a 90 degree angle so that the pin also runs and holds the clip bar at the top right up there. So we can take this and some jewelry pliers. And we bend it 90 degrees like so. And that's going to sit at the very top of the pen and so that hole in the clock part this watch hand the pin can also run through that once again it keeps everything aligned so if you can see that there just to summarize that you've got the top piece which resembles the button at the top optional is the clip bar which will be here it's bent at a 90 degree angle and then you've got the beginning or the first piece of the body of the pen which is this green stone bead. I've got a little small gold pony bead in the middle just to sort of elongate the pen as well as to break it up make it look more interesting rather than a solid look like a solid piece. You've got the second stone bead at the lower half You've got the gold piece that holds the nib, and then finally the nib. On the inside of the pen, you've got this pin that runs through it to maximize that surface area for the glue to hold on to. Besides these components to make the pen, you'll be needing a few more things. Once again, you've got the glues that you'll need. I'll be using once more. Here's the E6000, which is the stronger of the two types of glues that I'll be using. And then I've got this super glue, this Loctite. To bend the clock part to make the clip bar, I did use these jewelry pliers. And you'll also want heavy duty clippers because the decorative nail that I'll be needing to cut off this tip here, because this is tempered steel, it's not, not something soft like brass or aluminum, I'll need more heavy duty clippers than my usual, my usual ones here. I'll be clipping this top here. So this will be glued to the top of my pen. And of course, I'll be using these toothpicks to help control where my glue is being placed. I also like to use these tweezers so that if my fingers, they're not delicate enough to push things into place, I'll use these metal tweezers or I'll use these plastic tweezers. So now we can get started putting this together.